An old man scares Gine, but she's been through a lot. An old man isn't going to be one to frighten her. She's a badass Saiyan warrior, but what's this on the old man's back? It can't be. Kakarot? Gimme. And mother and son have been reunited. Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. Smash that like button and if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you never miss a video. As always, if you are brand new to my covering of Dragon Ball Reboot, this is Dragon Ball fan manga focused specifically on Gine, make sure you check out the playlist. I have two videos on this Dragon Ball fan manga series. Make sure you check those out, get yourselves caught up. And now let's jump right into the continuation of this story. Gine has scarcely survived the destruction of planet Vegeta. Zarbon demands to know if there are any Saiyan survivors coming from planet Vegeta and they can't tell whether there is a survivor or not. There is too much disruption from the destruction of the entire planet. There might have been something but it seems like it's gone now so they are very comfortable telling Frieza that there are no Saiyan survivors from this destruction. But Gine, being the sole survivor of Frieza's genocide from planet Vegeta, finds herself in a life-threatening situation because her capsule was damaged heavily from the destruction of the planet and now all life reserves and systems are failing for the capsule. She fears she cannot keep her promise to Bardock, but on the horizon she sees it planet Earth, the place that Kakarot is, and the place she needs to land in order to survive the capsule's destruction. Gine breaks through the atmosphere as her pod breaks apart around her and at this point it seems that she may not survive the impact on the planet and as the pod reaches closer and closer to the ground it seems more likely until boom, it smashes leaving a ginormous crater but Gine, very much alive, is on her last leg and clinging to life. Gine finds herself on a strange planet as a dinosaur comes barreling toward her, but Gine is still a Saiyan warrior and she kicks the dinosaur right in the chin, sending it running off into the distance, but unfortunately, that was the last of her energy. She used it to kick a dinosaur in the face, which is a pretty badass way to go. And she falls to the ground, fading fast, passing out as an old man and a baby discover her. She finds herself in a dark void filled only with her thoughts, thinking about how her life hasn't been easy up to this point because the Saiyan culture is not kind to weakness and she has been generally weak with the Saiyans for most of her life and now she has disappeared and her whole family is gone, Raditz, Kakarot and especially Bardock because Bardock gave his life against Frieza for basically nothing. And now she fears that she is also fading and dying and she is going to be reunited not only just with Bardock but with the rest of her Saiyan race until she hears a familiar voice telling her promise me that you will survive and you will become stronger. She turns around only to find Bardock right in front of her. But a blinding light takes Bardock away with a sinister laugh in the distance and Gine wakes up screaming. She has woken up in a strange room covered in bandages which she sees as a primitive way of healing and this place, she doesn't know who has brought her here, but she sees that they've taken the time to undress her, so she decides to put back her battle armor in case she needs to fight her way out of here. But she realizes there's something strange about the way her armor looks. It's extremely shiny. Somebody has gone through the trouble of cleaning her armor, buffing out the dents and the grime, and making it all nice and pretty. Whoever this is collects strange orange jewels as well, but 
she doesn't have time to just walk around here and inspect the entire house she needs to go and find her son so as she walks out she is met with her would-be savior and completely gets scared falling back on the ground he apologizes but there's nothing to apologize for she's tough she can handle it she didn't get scared she just got startled until she sees a baby on his back and this is absolutely Kakarot because he's got Goku's hair he's got a tail this is her son and she rips him off the guy's back and mother and son are reunited at last Grandpa Gohan knew it from the moment that he saw her that this was Goku's mother and Gine's like, who's Goku? Well, Grandpa Gohan gave him the name Goku when he first met him and this is what he's been calling him all this time, but Gine's not having any of that. His real name is Kakarot, but Grandpa Gohan has trouble pronouncing the name. He's just gonna keep calling him Goku because he actually has taken a liking to the name, but Gini doesn't care. It's time for them to leave and they are on their way, but Grandpa Gohan's worried that her wounds are still pretty heavy, but she ensures him that she is going to heal quickly and he insists that she at least stay for dinner and let him hang out with Goku for one last evening and as Gine's stomach grumbles, she takes him up on his offer. As Gine inhales food, Gohan tells Goku, I hope when you grow up you have better table manners than that. Gine thanks him for the food and Grandpa Gohan introduces himself, while Gine asks Gohan why does Goku have a bandage on his head? Grandpa Gohan explains that Goku was a restless child and at one point he fell off his back and hit his head. After that, he became more docile and he's basically been reset. Gine remembers Kakarot being extremely violent and now he's extremely relaxed. So this old man not only saved her life, but also saved Kakarot's life as well. And Gine explains exactly what happened to her, why they're there, what happened to planet Vegeta. And Grandpa Gohan completely understands, completely normal to him. And he tells her that they can stay as long as they like and recuperate their strength before setting out again and Gine agrees for now but there is one thing she needs to do. That night Gine listens to transmissions coming from the Frieza Force hoping that they are not wise to the fact that she survived and hoping they don't come to planet Earth also trying to hear anything about Raditz but it is all in vain and that night she gets to sleep next to her baby for the first time in what seems like a very long time. She wakes up at the crack of dawn fully rested and eager to train just in case the Frieza Force comes back and she draws a Frieza face on a rock using Bardock's technique, the one that he taught her to annihilate the rock but her aim is a little bit off. Gohan is extremely impressed that she has not only recovered so fast, but she wields that much power in her body and he is eager to teach her because she is wasting a lot of ki and not really hitting her target directly. There is a lot of energy that can be harnessed and focused that she is just wasting all over the place. And basically what he's telling her is that she's using a gigantic hammer to kill a tiny fly. So he demonstrates the proper way to harness all this energy in Gohan's special move, the Kamehameha Wave. He focuses on the lines in the grass. Look how much key she weighs compared to how much key he weighs. He can actually help her with controlling her power because she's got a lot of it, but she doesn't focus it correctly. And Gine looks at him, scoffs, and dismisses him. There is no way that somebody that is weaker than her can teach her anything. She is the most powerful being on the planet right now, so she's not going to be taking any lessons from him, and it's time for her to leave with Kakarot but Grandpa Gohan is about to teach her a lesson in humility and that will be in tomorrow's chapter 3. Thank you guys so much for watching this series Dragon Ball Reboot. I will have the final chapter tomorrow. Make sure you go ahead stick around and check it out and if you made it to this point in the video you are now part of the hashtag end of video squad. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Make sure to drop that comment with that hashtag for a chance to be featured in my next video. Today I'm going to be responding to Bryson the Saiyan Legend. I feel like Gine is going to live with Grandpa Gohan and Goku and help raise him. 
Well, I mean, it's her son, so Gohan would be helping her raise her son, but I understand what you're talking about, and it looks like you're completely on the money. That seems to be what's happening here, and once Gohan kicks her ass in the next chapter, we're gonna see exactly how that relationship mutually grows. Thank you so much for your comment. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.